welcome back to my channel or if you're new to my channel hey my name is Julie I'm a content creator from Sydney Australia today currently it is Thursday in Sydney and I thought this would be a great time to take you guys along with me on a weekend vlog because this weekend I am going to a music festival and I know what you're thinking you're thinking oh my god Tuli we just had Coachella is it anything like that is it gonna be a lot of fashion are you gonna be stuck in the middle of the desert no no to all of them I'm going to a hard style music festival where we're stuck in a stuffy room where there's lasers hitting you at all times and pretty much fashion doesn't exist because everyone wears gym clothes but I love it so I'll be taking you along with me and showing you what it is like going to a hard style music festival um today I'm going to do a little bit of shopping beforehand picking up a few things for Saturday which is when the festival's on so I will see you at the shops next Bye. Guys, I'm in Kmart and I found the cutest small little bag. I have so many of these though, but it's just so tiny and you need a backpack when you come into a festival. This is totally unnecessary. It's so cute. Look, it's like my sister's face. It's like a self portrait. It's what she looks like all the time. To raise is not wearing white shoes because they will get destroyed. But the bigger hack in life is be born with small feet because you can just buy everything for half price. Right, let's get a few eggs. What? I'm gonna get a few of this. Oh my god. Yeah, just mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Hey everyone, it's currently Friday at the moment, and I thought I would show you what came in the mail. I'm not even gonna pretend to open it from scratch. Tim saw the box, then he got really excited, even though he knows it's for me. Um, so he opened this up, but I haven't actually opened the actual item itself. So I'm going to a brand event soon, which is coming up, which I'll take you guys along with me when it does happen. And they sent me some shoes that they'd like me to wear there. It comes with some extra laces. And I'll just take out one of the shoes. So the box is like this. So I got to choose what shoe I wanted from the website. Um, they had loads of different ones. So, but I, these are the ones I chose. So they have like this grey tip at the bottom of it. And look at the bottom, it's like etched out and stuff so that's what it looks like i just got a white one because i thought it was really versatile and since i have to come up with the outfit with it it's going to be easier and i actually don't have a pair of white shoes okay so let me see if this even fits me they said on the um website that this type of shoe you should size up so i'm actually normally a size six Yes, I know, baby feet, like I mentioned yesterday. Gets me all the deals. Um, but so I opted for a size like seven and I feel like I'm going to regret this. Unfortunately, they do not fit. Uh, I'm so annoyed. But anyways, I will probably have to contact the brand to get them to return and get you size smaller. Oh, there's this other detail that I missed. It does have little red um, bits at the end of it and it actually says, oh, I don't know if it's gonna focus, probably not, but it actually says their brand name on it. So the company is Rolly. It's an Australian footwear company, but the shoe looks really good. It's kind, kind of giving off is it Air Max? I haven't worn those shoes in ages. I don't remember, but it kind of looks like those. But yeah, it looks really cool. But sad days to me. I have to get it returned. But anyways, for today's agenda, I'm going to go to the shops again because Tim's decided he's going to wear a different outfit to the rave. And then after that, my sister's come over. Oh, she's getting her hair done near my house. So... She's just probably going to chill at our house for a bit. And we just got a couple other things to do. So I'll see you later.
choosing our pre-game drink. Hello, hello guys. Today is Saturday and it's a rave day. So excited. Um, it's currently 1.30 p.m. Um, and we're gonna go to the rave around 6.30 p.m. And basically we time it on what DJs they're gonna be playing at that time. I think the event actually starts around like 5 p.m. I forget the um, time list. But anyways, we're gonna go there around then, which means I need to leave the house around five. So I'm gonna start getting ready. I'm gonna start putting my makeup on. I know it's really early, but I like to just do it calmly, take my time, you know. Um, so I'm gonna start my makeup. Honestly, the process of me putting makeup on and everything sometimes I'm just like why do I like bother going so hardcore because at the end of the night it looks like someone's hit a fucking saucepan on my face because my makeup is everywhere it's basically sweated off and everything I'll probably show you guys by the end of the night how it is looking um hopefully this set with the setting spray and stuff it doesn't move that much but yeah, I'm pretty much guaranteed that I'm going to just look like a trash bag. But anyway, so we're going to do that. And then I'm going to do some pre-game, have some drinks. But for now, I'm going to start just continuing the rest of my makeup. So I will just speed through that. So this is my finished makeup. I'm gonna do my hair now. So I'm thinking of sitting in the middle and doing two braids down the side. So I will show you how it turns out. I'm running super late. I haven't been in the best of rooms to be honest. But anyways, this is how it looks and I'll show you how I do my hair. <laughs> So guys, this is the hair. I just braided it, to be honest. I did not do it properly. I don't have time. I'm running late. You'll think like, oh my god, Tuli started getting ready so early. How are you still late? But you know, only other girls can know how long it takes to look good. But anyways, yeah, this is what I did. I just braided it on the two sides. It's a pretty trash job, but anyways, it will do. Um, and now I'm gonna show you my outfit that I'm thinking of wearing. So guys, I'm thinking of wearing this sports bra. It has little straps here and at the back there's more straps. It's open here. It is, if anyone's interested, the Indigo Logo Stripe sports bra. Yes, it was fucking $55. So expensive. Honestly, such an investment. And I'm thinking wearing with it these Nike little booty shorts, they're like spandex material. It just has the Nike Pro banner around it. So that's what I'm speaking, thinking of wearing. Yes, it is very sportswear, as I said. There's not real fashion at a rave. It's just pretty much what you're gonna wear to the gym. But I will wear it and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the outfit. So this is the sports bra. These straps are actually adjustable. And these are the shorts. As I said, it says Nike Pro on it. I just have a band here. Let me show you. 
it's a HSU band, which is the company that runs these festivals. Um, so I got it at a previous festival. And then some people, they actually wear a mask. I mean, everyone has to wear a mask now that it's COVID, but some people wear these masks. So it goes like this. And now you've become a real rave girl. So this is the fit. All I need to wear is my shoes and a backpack. Okay, guys, before we go out, we're having some drinks. Some pre drinks. And then. I'm mixing up some of this. This is a Gatorade, but really, in, it's the alcohol in disguise. <laughs> Yes, we're very creative here in this household. What are you going to drink? What's oh, your drink? Uh, I had the same thing as you, but it's just not here. It's cranberry low sugar, or no sugar? Low sugar, yeah. Low sugar cranberry juice with vodka, and he's mixing same thing. Sprite with oh, vodka it's, in the it's bottle. Takeaway. It's a takeaway, takeaway bottle. Yeah. We have premium food services at our apartment. If you ever want to go to a rave with us, we will take you on the train and provide you with premium drinks. Yeah, that's right. Jeez, you don't have to look at the camera. Uh, yeah. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Who are you excited to see? Um, I mean, the whole lineup isn't like my super favorite. So I'm like, you know, Darren Styles is good. I like him. Wild Styles. Um, D Block and Stefan. Yeah, they, they're all kind of like, I like them, but they're not my absolute favorite. It's not like that. But um, yeah, so. Usually be... at these festivals, they have like crazy international artists, but I think because of COVID. They are international artists. But they, they are, not, but they're, they're not have, as crazy of a lineup. They don't have they... like the Tweakers, for example. Oh, yeah. It's one of my favorite. Uh, yeah, it's our favorite. Help, um, no, I don't know. Headhunters. Headhunters, yeah. Headhunters. Headhunters is fairly calm, though. Yeah, but when they do, when he does, then. Sub Zero Project. Yeah, right. I like Sefa, um, so that's another one. If you guys don't listen to but, Hardstyle, do yourself a favor and just never listen to Sefa. You, no, you'll be you'll be completely Sefa's put off. By, you'll be completely put off by it. It's just it's very hard. It's very like it's it sounds hardcore. like someone is banging pots and pans next to your but head. At the and same you're, like, time, dying. it's really good. It's an acquired taste, but if you get into it, it's really good. So I think definitely check it out. No, I don't think the day will ever come that I will be interested in it. No. But anyways, we're going to drink, and then after that, we're going to be on the train. So, yeah. you guys will see us next day. Good boy. Yeah.